as the new financial system continuously rolls out and becomes more implemented around the globe, as the new financial infrastructure of the world built on blockchain continuously grows and grows around the world, we are going to continue to fight for you right here for digital assets and digital payments. Hi and welcome back. I'm Walt Money. Hope you all had a fantastic day. We got another great XRP and XLM video for you today. Of course, we're going to give you some updates, talk a little bit about price, where the market's going and all that great stuff. All we ever ask is if you do like this type of content, give us a big thumbs up. It's absolutely free and subscribe while you're at it. Come on into our community. Like I said, it's absolutely free. We enjoy talking about banking coins and where this market really is going in the short mid and long range because we can see right now we have a ton of FUD in the market that we're trying to fight back we're trying to fight back for those that are pro crypto like myself like many of you who are already subscribed and have come on to our community we are trying to fight back because it is tough sledding as they say right now we take a look at xrp we are up just slightly 0.6 percent on the day sitting at 36 cents stellar xlm at eight and a half cents roughly eight and a half cents down 1.8 percent on the day now the other day i put out this or i didn't put out this tweet danielle dixon put out this tweet and she of course is our ceo of stellar uh stellar development foundation she said i hate the negative attention that crypto and blockchain blockchain have gotten over the last few weeks. Nothing that's happened with FTX or SBF has anything to do with blockchain, what the tech is good for, or what is already doing to enhance financial infrastructure. And that is just it, right? And we're going to talk in this short and concise video a little bit about what not only Ripple and Stellar are doing to enhance the financial infrastructure moving forward, but really the potential this market has going forward. Because I think so often, so many people get lost in what's this cryptocurrency going to do? What's that cryptocurrency going to do? When moon, right? When is this particular cryptocurrency going to move up? And I do believe there's going to be several winners. Now, obviously not thousands and thousands as you see the market right now but as we push closer to regulation and we get that clarity obviously not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor but xrp and xlm in my personal opinion are about as safe as you possibly can be um, i've talked for a long time now about how i do love how danielle dixon our ceo of stellar works with congress works with senate senators has worked with the regulators that make decisions for us all over the world and that is really what in my personal opinion is going to matter at the end of the day you obviously all should know by now if you haven't already that iso 2022 is going to be the new system built on uh, swift that is going to be an absolute game changer for the world and the way money uh, is exchanged the way messages are sent and money is sent around the world and who is compliant well stellar and ripple and those are really the two coins there that have the liquidity ability to become mass uh, massly adopted by all the banks all over the world. So in my personal opinion, when you say win moon, it should be more which will moon. And I do believe XRP and XLM are set up very nicely. So enough of that. I want to pull this up real quickly. This is uh, Ripple here on Twitter. This lady, I love what she said here because we've been talking so much lately about regulation ever since uh, FTX fallout and everything like that. She says, I'm a big proponent that we should be regulating activity, not technology. And that's just the thing, right? The technology, there's nothing wrong with the technology. It's the activity. It's the bad actors out there that utilize it in a way that is bad for all of us. So listen to this real quick. big proponent that we should be regulating activity but not technology um, and uh, conversations around like should we be regulating NFTs I don't think are very productive for the industry um, I don't think they're productive for the wider perception because what ends up happening is that we 
have um, unclear messaging going out to the wider public around what this is and the potential benefits it has, and we end up kind of all tied up in thinking about this thing called crypto, which we're told is volatile and dangerous and bad for consumers, and we ignore actually some of the real benefits that it can bring on a B2B level, for enterprise, for moving value around the world. Right. That is exactly it. And that's what kind of I'm trying to preach and trying to get the word out there, especially to even, you know, acquaintances, friends, family members that really do not understand blockchain tech, do not understand cryptocurrency and what is happening behind the scenes. Because we see big articles coming out all the time, how this is being implemented. But Unfortunately, this article here, banking giants and New York Fed start 12-week digital dollar pilot. So this is happening, right? This is happening. The, the way of digital is happening and, and, it, and it will happen, but that is not what is in the limelight, unfortunately. That is not what's been talked about to the masses and for those individuals that have very little uh, understanding of cryptocurrency and blockchain tech now not my subscribers right because you know that we are on a different level here but <laughs> but uh, you, you get what I'm saying you know most people do not understand that crypto is not the problem blockchain technology my god is not the problem this is a beautiful technology that will shape the world and will make this market a multi multi trillion dollar market and those early adopters like you and I will be the beneficiaries now but what they're being fed what they're being told in the mass media is that all crypto is bad and they label FTX as all crypto essentially that is what is happening so that that is why I've been saying we have to continuously fight back. Now, real quick, I want to give you some updates on uh, some stuff that Stellar is going to do. Top technical talent is scarce and companies around the world are struggling to hire as fast as their businesses are growing. Here we see yet again another partnership in Africa and this is Get Paid Africa provides a real solution to this problem by use, using, who are they using? Stellar to connect tech companies, digital platforms, and digital professionals. So here we go again, right? This is what is happening behind the scenes. The building continues. This is almost impossible to keep up with. We just saw this article came out a few days ago. I actually wasn't able to get it on a video over the weekend, but I want to point this out. You know, here was another big partnership with. Uh, with Merkel Sciences Institutional Grade Suite of Risk Management and inve Investigative Tools to the Stellar Network. So essentially, while everyone is in panic mode and worried about risk and, and all the bad in the world of crypto right now, what is Stellar doing? Well, they're partnering with people that have the ability to minimize that risk management, are able to s help with compliance. So this is what is happening. The building keeps happening. And me personally, I am all in on these two coins. Look, I've got other cryptocurrencies that I believe in. There's other projects that I even talk about on this, this channel. You know I love the other banking coins. I got a couple micro caps that I'm very confident on. But when it comes to Ripple and Stellar, I just can't say enough. I absolutely love them, and that's why we'll continue to talk about them here on this channel. So that's all I got for you today. Let us know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section below, and we'll see you all in the next video.